say, bro, it's about to be summertime, man. What y'all got planned? Let your boy know. First thing first, let's see what's going on out there, bit. Let pay respect to that squad. Notification game check. What we lit then? What's popping? All right, fam. All right, ball checking in here. And today we have a lot to discuss. Now let's jump right into it. First off, salute notification game. Hit that like button. Free start. Got a real all right, fam. Salute. Anyway, up first, we got that boy. You know I keep that dog food like on Rollo, fam. Go. Okay, so it's been like a month now since we got word that Rollo got arrested out there, bit. Feds claim he was trying to move millions in work and also the gang leader for Fam America. His team got offended by and jumped on ASAP. They was like every group of black men that come together ain't a gang. Arallo felt like he was being targeted by 12 for the longest. That's why he documented every time he had a run in with the police on his IG fam. And to make things even crazier, the feds turned around to use his IG against him. They actually used the IG post to connect him to a situation that went down in December. Now, Rollo denies all allegations against him and felt like they was wrong for raiding his property and trying to take the possessions he earned the legit way. At Rollo first hearing, the judge denied his bond because they stated they wanted to give his attorney enough time to prove that his probation was suspended in Fulton County. Fast forward the next week, Rollo pled not guilty, and the judge was still indecisive about giving him a bun. Despite all of that, his team was still very confident that he'll get a bun soon. And today, Rollo had another hearing, and his attorney requested that his bun hearing today be moved to the 15th, and the judge granted his request. The Rollo bun hearing is rescheduled for next Tuesday. Now, Rollo did an interview with 11 Alive News, and Rollo admitted that social media kind of screwed him up, dog. He stated he didn't know people take it that serious. He stands by that his social media is all for business, and he thought that the people could separate reality from entertainment. He never thought his social media would be used against him, and he stands by that all his possessions were bought with legit cash from his business. After what was said in that interview, expect that boy Rollo to move a lot different. That's why I be warning rapper, stop putting all that crazy stuff on social media dog let this be a lesson for all y'all fam i need y'all to comment down below what y'all think about this entire situation if you haven't make sure you sub to the channel also follow me on ig and twitter links in the description i'm out uh ball gone